seriously don't think mornings are for anyone. At least not for weary people. I just don't understand, y'all. I was driving and people have their doors open like we don't live in Florida. You can tell they're not from here because they haven't met a roach the size of a Ninja Turtle. And then a native from Florida is going to tell them, uh, did you not know that's what roaches look like here? They big, they fly, and they don't die. It's just going to fly up all in your face and around your head, karate chop you and your soul, and then fly away laughing like, ha, ha, ha. Florida's just one of those places where everything is just like bigger. I don't know, was there a radioactive plant that just blew the hell up? I'm not quite sure. Cause we got roaches that look like turtles. We got lizards that look like iguanas. Literally, they iguanas, okay? And we got skeeters that look like something out of Jurassic Park. Just big for no reason. I pity the fool if you sit outside and get bit by one you're going to look like you're suffering from tuberculosis or something. Just going to have like a big old weld on you. I'm going to go inside and get some coffee. I feel like I need to drive around this morning. Like go for a drive with the kids. Because I feel like that's what people do in the morning. They're driving somewhere. They're driving to work. They're driving to drop their kids off to daycare. But none of that is going on in my life. So I'm just going to get out of the car very slowly. But surely. Because y'all know my hip is trifling. So I don't fall over. Y'all like dead serious? I knew it was raining last night and I told y'all my hip gets real wonky. And I literally, literally almost fell over. Like my body was just leaning to the side of that as I was walking. It was like my I needed an alignment or something like a car that hadn't been aligned in 12 years. I was like, Lord, let me sit down somewhere before I fall over and bust my head over to the white meat show and call 911. Like I'm I like I'm really old. Talking about I fall and I can't get up. Have mercy. Have mercy. Hey, Dory. I am being the not so perfect mom today and I don't have any fruit for the churn or anything without sugar. So hey, why not give them some blueberry waffles? Cause fruit's in that, right? <laughs> no? Okay. Max, do you like the blueberry waffles? <gasps> They're so good. Look at the twins. Mmm, you're doing awesome. Yeah, stab that, stab that, Izzy, stab it. Get it, Izzy. Oh, that mean old waffle. Come here, waffle. There we go. Oh, no! I'm melting. Yeah, just plop it in your mouth like so. Mmm. How about you, JoJo? Is it delicious? I'll take that as a yes. I know. I'll get some fruit and some other things for breakfast, okay? Don't be so hard on me today. I tried. I'm weary. Can you say weary? I didn't think so. Is it four o'clock weary? Definitely not at Target. This buggy looked like it been in a car accident. Look at it. It's bent. It's bent. Praise God for Jesus. Look, y'all. I didn't know they had these carts here. They got these carts here. Winning. I feel like I won the lottery today. So I'm picking up dinner. I feel like being a good mom today and making a nice home cooked meal. What do you think about that? You want a nice home cooked meal? Are you gonna behave in the basket? Cause you haven't been behaving in the basket. He threw off his shoes y'all. Unbuckled himself from the basket. Yes, and then got down and was riding it like he was in the movie Titanic. Like you the king of the world. 
You the king of my world. By an accident. You what? I unbuckled him by an accident. So you're the one who unbuckled him, mm -hmm. Izzy. It was an accident. It was an accident. And Izzy doesn't believe in snitching. Now he's trying to win us with cheese. Go ahead. Anyway, hold it. Just hold it. Jordan wants to be Wreck It Ralph today. So. I've got my chicken here, and I'm cheating because I'm not gonna buy the whole vegetable and chop it up. I don't got time for that. I just wanna throw everything in. So I got three packs of these kebabs. I've got some cut green beans. Yes, I've got some cut green beans and some baby carrots that I'm gonna throw like in the bottom of the, be quiet. Be quiet. I've got some cut green beans and carrots that I'm gonna throw in the bottom of the pan while it's all cooking together. And um, some rice and some seasons and things. <laughs> Woo, child, honey, she survived. But she won't survive this humidity. Y'all, it's fogging up the lens. The humidity is fogging up the lens. Oh my gosh. It's real out in these streets. So now, I've gotta go get Julian. I'm either, probably not gonna have time to drop the babies off and, I'm gonna stop calling them babies because they're toddlers now. <laughs> drop the twins off um, so they can take a nap, but we're just gonna go ahead and go pick up Julian and when I get back home, I'm gonna throw everything in the oven and hopefully by seven o'clock we'll be all bathed and ready to eat dinner or eating dinner and then getting bathed and getting settled down for the night. We shall see how that goes. These kids, do your kids kick off their shoes when you're in the store? Because my kids do. Thumbs up if y'all kids do that, child. You have to make sure when you leave the store that you have all of the shoes, okay? Or when you leave the aisle of the store, <laughs> you check in to make sure ain't nothing missing. Look at the sky, you guys. It's really dark and gloomy. Allegedly. There's a tornado warning! Look at y'all. I feel like I'm in one of those movies. Tornado or Twister or something. Storm chasers. Tornado warning, y'all. Let's get inside. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Wow. You took the five of clothes up to the end. Right. Right today? Right today? Right now. I don't think right now, GG. Oh my god, you hear that stuff knocking out there? Mm -hmm. They said it's 43 mile per hour wind. I mean, you don't have to. The fact that it's storming outside and it's tornado weather doesn't deter me from making a home cooked meal. Thug life, I'm gonna tell you why. Either way, it's gonna be a slow cooked piece of chicken. Okay? The power turns off. I'm assuming, not now. Probably. Probably later on it'll get really, really bad. But by then, the chicken will be already done. And at least we'll have something to chew on. If the power does go off, we can have chicken sandwiches. You know what I'm talking about? We'll be good. We'll be all right. Cause I'm a survivor. Let's look at this chicken, y'all. My buddy has a nice, crispy skin on the outside. I turned the heat down to 375, right? That's what I said I was turning it down to, right? And I'm gonna drizzle some extra virgin olive oil off. Before we tear into this, y'all, this is the end product right here, y'all. It's I've got the vegetables down in there.
<laughs> the power of sweet tea. It's a mother load. The mother load. Oh, you got some rice. How is everything? Is it good, Jojo? Jojo having a difficult time with her rice. You got it. I cut it. You can do it. Here. You're using your wrong hand. You're right handed. You're not left handed, honey. Ooh. Hmm. There you go. Is it good, Izzy? Good. Izzy is eating them green beans like they are going extinct. Are your green beans good, Izzy? Yeah. <laughs> he said, mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Numbers, number, 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 number. That's the risk that I am taking, looking in your eyes.